Hello everyone, this is Janneke. I wanted to tell you about this um, interview that I'm going to do with Petter Amundsen about Shakespeare. Uh, because uh, there are a lot of synchronicities that happen for me to do this interview and I find the topic so interesting. So this man, uh, Petter Amundsen, he's Norwegian, he's an uh, organist, like he's playing uh, the or organ uh, up in Holmkongkapell in Norway and he's been interested in Shakespeare for a long long time and he has this theory that uh, well, Shakespeare didn't wrote Shakespeare, uh, and that it was perhaps uh, Francis Bacon and um, another man that I forgot the name of. Uh, and he has found out this through um, codes and cryptology and things that he has seen in the text, because he, he has been in the Freemasons, so he knows a lot about, he has knowledge about sacred geometry and stuff like that. And the thing is that it's been made a documentary about this uh, that went on Norwegian TV, NRK, where they had like several episodes filming how he um, filming about his theory and he went to this island to dig after a treasure uh, where apparently uh, Shakespeare's real material like original material was supposed to be or his theory is that his, that material might be there. There's a lot to this story so I might get something wrong here but I'm, I'm gonna you know promise you that I'll do my research before this interview because I have to do a lot of research. But anyway, uh, my point was that that um, I was supposed to interview him in January. I asked for an interview and then it, it didn't happen uh, for some reason and um, because we couldn't book a date and then time just passed and I forgot to contact him. Then I guess his blog is about synchronicities and signs because it's all tied together, isn't it? Everything is connected with everything, I do believe. Because this week, like I think on Wednesday, I started to think about Petra. Like all of a sudden I was like, ah, you know, I was supposed to interview Petra and now is the time. And we're in April right now, late April. And then I did some research on this other guy called Søren Hauge, he's a Danish guy. And I discovered that he had written a book about Shakespeare and the theory that Shakespeare didn't write Shakespeare and about Francis Bacon. And I was like, that's a coincidence. I just thought about Petter and this topic. And then I went on YouTube and all of a sudden on my newsfeed, all these videos of, um, of Shakespeare appeared and I hadn't been searching for it. So, you know, I don't think that since I did research on certain and one of his books was about Shakespeare that the algorithm can can see that and see that oh you know maybe she's interested in Shakespeare because I didn't search for it so that was another coincidence and then I kind of took it as a sign so I wrote Petter on Saturday and apparently he was like yeah of course I want to do an interview yeah let's do that and apparently that evening, that day, yesterday, was the 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death. Like that was a coincidence. And that evening NRK sent another documentary that uh, is a new one of Petter's work, where they show so much uh, how far he has come with this research. And I was like, you know, that's, that's such a synchronicity. Like it was kind of like I, um, I picked up on that this topic is really hot here in Norway right now. And then a friend of mine, she wrote me an email today and she was like, you know, there's this um, happening on the literature house. It's back here, Literaturis in Oslo. This uh, panel discussion, this and these talks about Shakespeare and Petter Amundsen is going to be there. And I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> so I'm there right now, five hours with different like academia people, uh, historians and uh, writers, actors and Petter is discussing the uh, authorship of Shakespeare. It's so interesting. And what I'm fascinated by all of this is that when I studied uh, theater in New York and we did Shakespeare, I was always like so 
fascinated by the wisdom in the place. I thought it went so deep. I thought it was almost esoteric in a way. You know, to be or not to be. All these sayings and lines and all the wisdom. So I always had a feeling that this man, whoever wrote this, knew so much more about the universe. And Petra's theories are so interesting because he connects Shakespeare's work with the Rosicrucians and even with a treasure on Oak Island. And apparently, you gotta, you gotta see this documentary. I think it's online. I will put a link uh, below so you can see it. Uh, apparently, he went over to Oak Island with these, this research team and the technical equipment didn't work on the specific place where he had found out that there was uh, apparently this treasure that is hidden. That, and he has found this out through Shakespeare's texts. Like in the plays there are, uh, how, how do you say this? This is so difficult to explain with my limited English. Where there are clues in Shakespeare's work that apparently there's a treasure on Oak Island and when they got there the technical equipment did not work. Uh, like uh, the, uh, the cell phones, uh, the camera, the microphone, the lighting, stuff like that. And Petter has also uh, a theory that this is all connected with sacred geometry and the stars like the star constellation corresponds with uh, this place on Oak Island uh, where there are different stones that apparently are put there below the ground and he has actually excavated two of those stones. So he had a theory that there was stones there and they excavated two of them. So I mean he has been you know ridiculed here and People have been so skeptic and you can see that in the documentary there's this professor who is like this is all nonsense you know but the thing is that they're finding things like his clues and theories they have something in them because things are showing up things are revealing themselves and it's just it's like Indiana Jones this is so exciting and even that it has to do with spirituality and the big mystery of life's life. So I'm very excited about uh, interviewing uh, Peter. I will have to do a lot of research, um, but uh, this is something I'm really passionate uh, about hearing a lot about because there's a bigger connection here. It's not all about this playwright and you know history and plays and acting. It's it's about universal truths, and we gotta search for this information, you know question everything that's my uh, my attitude question everything if we wonder if we're open to things then we can find things out then we can evolve as human beings we can't evolve by just being skeptical being in a box and saying no that's nonsense you know we have to be open to every possibility so stay tuned for my interview with Peter Amundsen about Shakespeare.